Hey, it's Jason from Bohemia Bees, and it's that time of year again. We've got a swarm on a tree here at a client's house. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, shake it in the box, take it back to the apiary and rescue these bees. So we've uh, decided to do the shake method here. And as you can see, it's a common method when you're trying to get uh, a cluster of bees out of a tree limb uh, that they've gathered on a branch. You could uh, vacuum the bees with a bee vac. You could cut the branch off if it's a if it's a little thinner of a branch, and shake them into a box. But the whole point here is that you're going to shake the branch, and the majority of the bees will fall on the box or on the tarp that's underneath the box. Uh, we put the tarp down to help the bees from getting stuck and caught up in the grass, and give them sort of a level pla uh, playing field or a you know runway into the box so to speak so we have a you know, an opening hole on the one side and then the bees that fell on the top are going down into the frames that are in there we've put in uh, some drawn comb and some foundation just for something to establish uh, to kind of move into and we'll go back a couple times as the bees that that fall off will continue to gather on the branch um, and until they've till the majority of the bees have fallen in the box and or the queen has fallen into the box. And then they begin to uh, fan their Nazanoff uh, pheromones. Uh, they'll lift their butts in the air and, and vigorously you know, fan their wings to, to express their, the Nazanoff uh, pheromone. And this will attract the bees that are sort of flying around and they're confused and trying to figure out where to go next. Uh, that'll attract them to the box. All right, so a lot of the bees are falling on the box or on the tarp. And if you notice some of the bees walking up the side of the box, this is um, a common thing that happens when bees are disoriented and there are other bees that have sort of found the cavity or the location where they're going next. Uh, they will um, express a pheromone, a pheromone called the Nasnoff pheromone. They do this by lifting their uh, rear end in the air and flapping their wings. It comes out of the glands in their abdomen uh, they'll express that pheromone and that will attract the other foragers or other bees to the, the location where they're at and they're going. Uh, it helps them to uh, orient into that location. Also, if there's a queen in that, um, that cavity or in that new location, they're basically letting the other bees know, hey, the queen's in here, we're good to go. Let's all gather here. And you'll see them march across that tarp into that box and, and up that box to, to accomplish that. water it wets their wings a little bit so when I shake it they don't fly up in the air they kind of drop to the ground and crawl in the box because there's a lot of bees in this box now um, the ones on the ground are just kind of hanging out trying to figure out when to go in I don't know if I got the cleaner yet or not but
20,000. So it's about the size of a deep box. You would keep a brood box. I hate to bother you for a taller ladder, but if you have a taller ladder, I want to brush them off the top of there because they just they fly around up there and they land right back on. So. Okay, now I'm going to take the lid of the box and close off the top a little bit more so that the pheromones that they're expressing again are a little more concentrated and there's an entrance that they'll start to establish that they need to get inside that box um, as the rest of the colony's in there. This is why we use the tarp, because now I'm, you see I'm shaking the bees that are sort of spread out on the tarp closer to the box, and they'll start to walk up inside as well. Just trying to get as many bees as possible uh, to get inside that box before we close it up. So we've got a lot of bees in the box. They're fanning pheromones. You can see them flapping their wings, letting them uh, know that the queen's likely in there. We haven't spotted her yet, but we have a good confidence that she is in there. They're away from the branch where they were before, but there's a small cluster that is gathered here on this other branch up top. We're gonna let them settle in and then we're gonna trim the branch off and shake them in the box so it's a little easier. Okay, we got them in the box again, and we're going to close them up here in a second and relocate them to Bohemia Apiary. Okay, so we've got our swarm of bees. Be sure to check out part two, where we show you how we install this swarm into its final home at the Bohemia Apiary on the eastern shore of Maryland, where beekeeping is definitely more than a hobby, it's an obsession. Thanks for watching.